Yes. Okay, Mr. Stark, I heard you say this morning that health care is now a right um, rather than a privilege because of the legislation that passed earlier this year. But such a right is actually beyond the power of the federal government to confer. And this is because, wait, let me finish, because this is because it necessarily infringes the inalienable rights of other people. And the reason I say this is because someone, um, in order to get health care services, those services have to be rendered by somebody else, using their time, their energy, their knowledge, and their labor. And this means that if any of us want health care and we have a right to it, then uh, we can only have, then we necessarily have the right to compel others to give us, to provide those services, or to pay for for them for us. And my question, I have a two-part question, and the first one is, how can legislation such as this be constitutional when it seems to, to be in direct conflict with the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery? It's the first thing. And the second thing is, if this legislation is constitutional, what limitations are there on the federal government's ability to tell us how to run our private lives? I, I think that there are very few constitutional limits that would prevent the federal government from rules uh, that could affect your private life. Now, the, the basis for that would be how does it affect other people? Well, so the words, Constitution specifically enumerates certain powers to the federal government and leaves the other, all other authority to the states. So, so the Constitution, or the people, so the Constitution, the Constitution is very limited in what it can do, sir. And it specifically prohibits slavery. And when you tell somebody you have a right to get a service from another, that's essentially saying you get to make that person do something for you. And sir, that is a form of slavery. So my question is, how can this law be constitutional? But more importantly than that, if they can do this, what can't they? There is your question, they can do any, is your answer that they can do anything? The, the federal government, uh, yes, can do most anything in this country. Thank you very much.